With their initiative to make sure that everyone has a free meal at any time they might need it, the East Kentucky Dream Center is busy this morning here in Pikeville doing that very thing. Staff at the center filled cups with vegetable soup from two huge stock pots and together with a sandwich prepared free meal bags. Um, but one of the things, cold weather's coming up, um, you know, and everybody, everybody could use a hot meal, especially with grocery bills up, power bills up. So the Dream Center offers free meals Wednesday and Friday, 11 until 1. We deliver around 200 of those throughout downtown Pikeville. Um, and, and, you know, that's a big thing. There's a lot of shut-ins. There's a lot of elderly. There's a lot of single moms that don't drive. So we just like to show up at their door and say, here you go, lunch is on us. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Dotson stresses that now is especially the time for helping those in need. In addition to East Kentucky Dream Center, Grace Community Center, Faith Life Market, and Pikeville Community Kitchen are also taking part. So, you know, everybody, everybody's waiting on election time um, to see what happens. Um, but, you know, inflation is a real thing. And I don't know that it's going to change. I, I don't know that it will ever change. I don't know that groceries will ever get back to what they were. Um, so with the struggle of high bills, high power bills, high grocery bills, um, the, one of the last things that you have to cut and that you have to watch is your grocery bills. Um, food stamps don't last. WIC don't last. So that's where places like us, places like Grace, um, Pikeville Community Kitchen, we come in and we work together and we just try to make sure that there's a free meal in downtown Pikeville Monday through Friday. Dawson said that unfortunately she doesn't see much changing for the future. So they're going to try to expand here at the East Kentucky Dream Center and do what they can for future issues. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.